first I want to shout out Kid Gravity for showing the video on Ann Coulter just insulting Vivek all over the place. And he didn't fight back. But one thing I notice about Vivek, when he gets in front of black folk, oh, he gets a backbone and gets bold and very forceful in the things that he say. But when he got slammed and insulted racially by Ann Coulter, he sat there just like a little brown noser that I always knew he was. Let me just take you down memory lane. Actually, you know, no funny fact is black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secured. And I think that that's black, one of the lessons that we still learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree well with you country. on that, Don. I okay. disagree with you. And I think you're doing a disservice well, to our country okay. by failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have you equality are in before black the law. And you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that I we disagree. have three I, different shades Don, of I think we have to be able to talk about these issues in the open, regardless of the color of our skin. Fact, part that I find insulting fact. is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have the gone through civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the 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 way i live the skin i live in every day here's and where I you and i have the a different point of black view. and white that black people don't have in this he, country here, and that black people do have well here's country. where you and i have a different point of view i think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin we should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man insulting that but you're me regarding you as a fellow citizen that you're that's sitting what I think here we whatever ethnicity you are explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm what it's like to be black whatever ethnicity i'm i'll tell you what i am i'm an indian american i'm proud of it but I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this debate. The content. Okay, so you saw towards the end of that exchange he had with Don Lemon. That's the point of why I showed you this. He sat there and said he was a proud Indian American. He was proud to be Indian American. So my question to you, Vivek, when Ann Coulter insulted you how come you weren't proud to be an indian american at that moment no what you demonstrated is when a white person insults you you all of a sudden you you're too scared to combat them but when you sit with someone black oh you you let it all rip and it just goes to show your racism as well. And as far as I'm concerned, you got exactly what you deserved from Ann Coulter because the whole time you were on the campaign trail, you were loaded down with insults for the black community. Okay, and I notice one thing about you when you are insulting us, you make sure you're in front of an all white audience. You don't want black people there because see what they can do is take you down a peg or two and they have done it. You're a coward. You let donkey face and Coulter racially insult you in front of Don Lemon, you're a proud Indian, but how come you weren't a proud Indian in front of Ann Coulter and did all that um, chattering that you did with Don Lemon? How come you didn't have that smoke? Vevek is a coward. He's scared of white people. He's scared of white people. He wouldn't even stand up to Ann Coulter. That says a lot. Let's take a look at part of that exchange. He has some thoughtful perspectives on the future direction of our country, of our conservative movement, and on this question of nationalism and national identity, somebody I've been fascinated for, by for a long time and have interacted with on social media, but for the first time we're having a at least live form conversation in the offline sense of it, it's Ann Coulter. So Ann, thanks for coming on and I'm looking forward to our conversation today.
Me too. Thanks for having me. That was a fantastic opening monologue. Uh, I too am a fan of yours. I'm going to make a point of disagreeing with you so that it will be fun. Um, yeah. You are so bright and articulate, and I guess I can call you articulate since you're not an American black. Um, can't can't say that about them. That's that's derogatory. Um, and that was a great opening segment. Lots of things to talk about there. Oh, and I agreed with many, many things you said during in fact, probably more than than most other candidates um, when you're running for president. But I still would not have voted for you um, because you're an Indian. We'll get back to that. Um. <laughs> Vivek responded on X, writing, quote, Ann Coulter told me flat out to my face that she couldn't vote for me because you're an Indian, even though she agreed with me more than most other candidates. I disagree with her, but respect she had the guts to speak her mind. It was a riveting hour. Many took issue with Vic's journalist Zed Jelani wrote on X, quote, OK, what level of simp is Vivek on here that he's like, well, she absolutely hates me for my ethnicity, but I really respect her. Journalist and CEO of Zato News wrote, quote, uh, you respect that she was openly and crudely racist to your face? Sheesh, the things that brown folks will do to be accepted by the white supremacy wing of the GOP. That was Mehdi Hassan. And co-founder of Based Politics, Brad Palumbo, wrote, so Ann Coulter is just racist and you don't even stand up for yourself in the face of blatant racism? Nope, y'all. Vivek is scared of white people. He's scared to fight back. He has no smoke. Ann Coulter, he could have easily have stopped her the moment she said, I didn't vote for you because you're an Indian he could have easily have stepped in and tell him he was proud of his ethnicity, just like he did with Don Lemon. But he didn't do that. When Don Lemon said, whatever ethnicity you are, right? He, he immediately jumped in there. But with Ann Coulter, he stayed silent. You really, truly are a brown noser, Vivek. And... Anybody that thought you were brave, they should no longer feel that way about you. Ann Coulter, <laughs> she annihilated you on your own podcast and you didn't even stand up and defend yourself. I, de I really agree with what they wrote about you on X. You didn't even defend yourself. I can't even respect that. And I don't even like you. That's why I called you bad salami. <laughs> Y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think about this video. Mm -mm -mm. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.